What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Cam ATL. Shout out to the DFS squad. Shout out to everybody watching this video right now. Drop a like down below because I already know you're going to love it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Make sure you comment anything in the comment section to enter your name into the $50 giveaway that I do every single week on this channel. This Monday is not like most Mondays. We have a nine game early slate starting at 2 p.m. and then we have the five game main slate. Obviously the early slate is starting pretty damn soon. I might go live before the early slate. We'll see. But hit up greenlightdfs.com to join the squad. The winner of last week's $50 giveaway is Phil Frazier. So hit me up, Phil, at cam underscore atl on twitter so i can send that money over to you guys thank you everybody else who commented throughout the week and all that stuff comment down below it's seeing that you got to comment anything in the comment section under your name of the 50 dollars giveaway comment who you think is going to be the highest scorer of the night okay and you can't include i'm talking about guys who are under 9k let's do it like that comment your player that's under 9k that's that has the potential to be the highest overall scorer of the night okay don't give me like an ad or a lebron or somebody like that give me somebody a little bit more of a sleeper and let's see who can get it right and maybe there's a prize in it for for the winner of that too i'll check it later on the night see if anybody gets it on all right now as you can see on the screen i have the high five up on the green light dfs optimizer um at greenlightdfs.com and we're gonna go through this real quick talk about this uh high five for the main slate later on and like i said i might go live before the early slate talk with you guys over the early slate as well um we will see drop a like let's get straight to it dame lillard hassan whiteside are still amazing plays in this matchup okay first of all they have an amazing matchup against golden state who defensively is not good at all secondly they're without a lot of guys they had that trade and on top of that cj mccullum is still out so Dame at 8-4, his price should have jumped over 9K. Dame at 8-4, Whiteside at a criminally low 7-5. There's no way Stein's going to be able to stop Whiteside. His usage is going to be incredible. I know he was a letdown last game, but expect a bounce back game here in this one. Um, and the Green Line Optimizer has him projected for over 47, has Dame for over 50. So they're expecting huge games. Okay, well, me, I am. I'm expecting a big game out of these two. I am the optimizer. Uh, but yeah, so 50 over Dame, 47 for Hassan. Right now, I might adjust them a little bit, but as of right now, I mean, it's it's on point. So next up, D'Angelo Russell running back to Portland Love. Because I love the Portland guys, I got to run it back with D. Russell, who is going to take a ton of shots. Maybe one of the most this guy's going to take some of the most shots in the entire league today, period. He's going to put the shots up. And if they're going to keep it any, uh, if they're going to keep it relatively close with McCullum out, they're still going to need Russell to be putting up points. So I think Russell has the potential to drop a 50 bomb today. I have him projected at 45, a little bit over 45, which is still value. So I really love D'Angelo Russell. Next up, Gordon Hayward seems way too cheap at 5'6, especially with Kemba at this moment. Kemba Walker and Jalen Brown are still questionable. Okay, they're not out and they're not in. So we don't know 100%. Regardless, Gordon Hayward is a guy who plays 30 plus minutes. He's only 5'6 and in a big matchup against the Lakers here. Okay, expect these Boston players to step up in this matchup. I think all these guys are going to do very well, especially if Kemba and Jalen miss. You're definitely going to want some Boston guys. I know the Lakers defense has been pretty solid. But at the end of the day, this is a Boston team that's going to want to show up against a team like the Lakers, one of the best teams in the league right now. All right. So expect Gordon Hayward to shine here in this one. And at 5'6", I really, really like him. As you can see, I got him projected at over 33. So I like Gordon Hayward. Last but not least, DeJounte Murray. Okay. Murray played 22 minutes. Uh, they are in a back-to-back, -back, which you can never trust Popovich. But the fact Murray played only 22 minutes yesterday makes me think that he's going to get the 30-something here, okay? Patty Mills went off yesterday. I think it's DeJounte Murray getting back in the saddle on this one and having a big game at, uh, in this matchup against Phoenix. Really, really love Murray at 5-3. I think he's a lock for the 30 or more. I think he's, I mean, obviously, no San Antonio player is ever a lock because Popovich is very up and down. But like I said, with the back-to-back -back happening, Patty Mills going off yesterday, DeJounte only playing 22 minutes, I think he's going to get back over 30, 30 minutes here. And he is a young guy, 
So expect it not to really be much of an issue for him to be able to push it over 30. All right? And that's it. We got Dame Lillard, D'Angelo Russell, Gordon Hayward, Hassan Whiteside, and DeJounte Murray is the high five. Thank you guys for joining me as always. Keep a heads up. I will announce on Twitter if I'm going to go live before the early slate and talk that early slate out with you guys. We will see what happens. Um, I also got to research the slate, so I don't want to spend too much time off of it, but we'll see what happens. All right. GreenlightDFS.com. We got this huge nine game early slate. Super, super exciting way to start the week. And then the five game main. Let's stack this money up. Let's get it. Thank you guys for joining me as always. And I'm out.